I wanted to do a mini fall lookbook with some of my favorite things that I've discovered in the past couple months and a couple oldies but goodies. And I wanted to show you a little bit about how I put some outfits together and how I get through my week and what I wear. So welcome to my mini fall lookbook. Okay, so I wanted to start with a favorite find that I found maybe two weeks ago. And that's when they put all of their faves, I guess their designer faves back at Target. And I missed it the first go round and I was super sad. And so I decided this time, okay, I'm gonna find what I like and I'm gonna go ahead and get it. So this Mosini cardigan, they had a couple things. They had the dishes, they had the cups. I just love it. I love the geometric pattern. I like that it's kind of vintage because I feel like my life is a lot of vintage mixed with modern. And I thought, okay, this is super cute. So what I did is I grabbed it an extra large. Now it's a little tight if I zip it up because I think it was probably maybe a tween size, but I really liked it. I liked the length. I liked how it fit. I liked the colors. I just really liked it. And I thought, okay, I think I can make it work. So this is my making it work. I paired it with a white top. I think it's a new day top, which does have a ruffle sleeve. But really a white t-shirt with a v-neck would probably be ideal with this. And my can, -can jeans, of course, because they're kind of my faves. I also did the layering of the necklaces because I'm a fan of the layering. So I've got my other, I think this is a Fat Fit Fun necklace, a uh, single swag box. Obviously the theme here is most of my stuff comes from subscription boxes, which doesn't that make shopping a lot easier? And I thought geometric and geometric might be the way to go. So I love this, guys. It even has pockets. Oh, and you're gonna see these in a couple of styles, but the report boots I got from Stitch Fix. And of course, you're gonna see a couple of Stitch Fix things too, because I think I'm on like my 26th fix. So, you know, I got a couple items. All right, so this is look number one. This would be more of my casual weekend or Friday at school. If I want to get away with it on Friday at school, I'd probably have to put a teacher tee underneath, but I think I could probably make that work too. Or I could wear this during the week with a different colored pants. I need to get some corduroys, y'all. All right, so this is look number one. It's super comfy, super vintage, just the way I like it. All right, I'll be back with look number two, just a sec, y'all. All right, so look number two. If you saw my most recent Stitch Fix video, you're gonna recognize some of these pieces. But I'm gonna show you how I would likely wear it. Now there's tons of ways to wear it, but this is that really pretty, almost burgundy uh, elbow pocket. Fave new cardigan I got. And what I did is I just matched it with an H&M cardigan, or sorry, H&M tank that I've had for a little while. I kept the layered necklaces because geometric seemed to be my thing. Also, I'm a huge fan of black and white. Add a little bit of gray, add a pop of color. That's my style. All right, so these are those 1822 jeans that I love. One of the reasons I love them because they fit really well, but the other reason is because they're definitely price friendly. And when you're a teacher, budget friendly is really where it's at. All right, so they came rolled up. Now I'm thinking I would likely maybe wear them a little bit shorter, but I kind of like the length. So I paired them with a new find that I got maybe a month ago. And these are my new Converse. And of course, anything black and white, I'm just gonna throw these Converse on because they're my favorite. And I feel like they kind of work for most outfits. All right, so this cardigan though, with the pocket and the scoop in the back, it's a staccato and I kind of love it. It's a little chunky, but not super heavy. And the color is like definitely a fall color. So this is outfit number two. Let's show you the whole outfit. Let me know what you think. It's super comfy, super casual, but just enough put together that you can look a little polished. Let me know your thoughts on this. All right, I'll be back with the third outfit, and I'm gonna try to put together a workout for you in just a sec. Be back, y'all. Okay, so I wanted to bring you a work look. This is something that I would wear probably once probably every two weeks or so. If you don't have a pair of pixie pants from Old Navy, go get you some. Because I feel like I could even wear these with booties. And that's gonna be a goal. 
because they're so comfortable. They have just enough stretch. They don't stretch out. They keep their shape all day and they're super comfortable. So I can't say enough good things about Old Navy Pixies. They fit nice, they have a nice silhouette. I can't say enough good things about them. They even have uh, some mini pockets. Granted, they're small pockets, but they got some. All right, so I have that same A New Day top, just front tucked in. And yes, my new favorite cardigan is on. I wanted to find a way to kind of, you know, add a little fun to it. So that's why I thought the pixie pants would be good. And then I'm still here for the layered necklace trend, which is going to be a big hit with me. And I got my shiny sandals on. And of course, this cardigan is like a life. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I saw the other day. I probably got this box maybe a week ago. Yeah, I guess a week ago, a week and a half ago. I was walking through Walmart and I saw these cardigans. Now, I didn't check them out. I didn't check quality. I didn't go up to them. But I'm going to tell you, if I want another color, I'm tempted to go check them out because they had the braided crisscross back that I really like. And I think I could use maybe a dark green or a burnt orange color in it. So I'm probably gonna check them out. Anyway, this is a common everyday work look for me. A cardigan, a tee or a dressy tank and some pants or some really dark black pants. So this is what I would wear on work to work and fall. Now it's Texas like I tell you every time and like we're like waiting for fall to show up and hopefully it shows up soon because I need to wear this outfit soon. All right, I'm gonna put a casual one together for you that I would wear just super casual. And of course, we're gonna do it with plaid. I'll be back in just a sec, y'all. All right, I am back with my final look. And of course, it's plaid because how can you have fall without plaid and flannel? It's Old Navy. I think I got a couple of them from last year. And let me tell you, yeah, they, you can put them on like any day. You can dress these up, you can wear your dark black jeans to work. Add a pair of flats if you want. Add some boots that go to here. I mean, dress it up if you want, but I'm telling you this, I love it. And yeah, there's a lot of jokes about plaid and if you can carry it off or not. I don't care. I wear it anyway. I don't care. In fact, I saw another one the other day I wanted to get to. And I think it was in the mustard color. All right, so here's what I do. Button it all the way up. Either leave the last button unbuttoned or just a little bit and tie it up. It gives you that line to where you look like you're not covered up in the shirt. It is still long enough to cover in the back if you need it to. It's super comfortable. Wear your sleeves down, roll your sleeves up. It gets softer the more you wash it. Guys, if you don't have a plaid and you haven't got one, go get one because I go with everything. Yes, when I wear this like this completely, completely, it's my go-to. Yeah, I got a couple. All right, so this is the final look. So tell me which is your favorite look and which one you think you're gonna be wearing and go out and get it. Because I always see these videos and I'm like, I like that, I need that in my life. And then I don't go do it. I don't know why, but I need to. So let me know which is your favorite outfit. And this was my first fall lookbook. I'm sure there's more coming. I need to get some prints because you know how I like my prints? That's coming next. All right, y'all, this was so much fun. All right.